Greetings, people of the internet. This is Cardiax, and today is another video. I'm kind of trying to do this thing where I actually keep a schedule. So for right now, I'm trying to post on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So this is one of those days. I believe this is Saturday, I hope. If not, it's probably Sunday. Anyway, so the idea of this is that I, it was originally a style challenge, but it quickly turned into just learning, essentially, from what I could from staring at Sakimi-chan's uh, pictures. I had some... Mm, they'll show up on the screen eventually, but I had some references to look at while I was working so I could see how, possibly how, Tsukimi-chan does her skin shading and whatnot, and I think I learned a few things, but I actually did this attempt before I did Isla, so I feel like, I feel like the last video I did on Wednesday for, that was of of Isla wearing Humans Aren't Real t-shirt. I think I learned more when I did that than I than I did when I worked on this. I do kind of hope that I can try this again one day though and actually make it a style challenge because I mean it's it just didn't happen that way. I I just really wanted it to go actually really well and to prove to myself that if I want to be, I can be like Sakimi-chan and be able to get the kind of um, detail, I guess, like she does. But the thing is that there are pros and cons to everything, and like I feared, trying to do all the details that Sakimi-chan does takes quite a bit of time. So, I was actually, I kept going back and forth, and I kept making new layers, and I kept actually doing the colors themselves, not using the multiply and overlay layers to help with the shading and highlights, respectively. So that took a whole lot more time, because I was trying the hardest to affect the colors correctly or at least what I viewed as correctly, but I did learn quite a bit from this, so I'm hoping that my next piece after this one will reflect how much I've learned. Of course, I'm not quite at the level Sakimi-chan is at, because I just don't know as much as she seems to, but a friend of mine actually said that she likes my stuff more than Sakimi-chan, and that is quite, well, shocking, honestly. But it's also a bit of a wake-up call, I guess. I mean, personally, I like Sakimi-chan. She's really good, and her skill is quite obvious. She's also extremely popular, and I aspire to be at least somewhat as popular as she is. And yet, there are some things about her style that I don't really like that much. For example, like my friend suggested, it's very obviously derived from manga and anime, and that's fine. It's just that so many of her pieces seem very much alike. There's not much diversity in terms of how the characters look. For example, I don't know if she still has the issue, but for the longest time, she had same face syndrome. If anyone listening to this doesn't know what that is, it means that when you draw, uh, let's say, a human character, that human character looks like all the others because the face has the same features. So it's called same face syndrome. There's also same body syndrome and stuff like that, but anyway. I kind of have that issue, but I have been trying to tweak the jawline and the 
lips and the nose and the eye shape and the thickness of the brows and stuff. So hopefully not as bad as it used to be. Anyway, so of course there's nothing wrong with it. It just means that all the characters look alike. Like you can't really tell if they're the same person or not unless they've got very specific details like their clothing and hair and stuff. But that's like what anime is. Like all the characters, at least all the female ones, I'm not sure about all the men, but probably the men too, are often drawn very much the same, just with different hair and stuff. And that just gets a little boring. So, um, yeah, if you... If she, uh, uh, hmm. if you like anyone, any artist that has that issue, then that's fine. I'm not dissing it. I just don't like it myself. So I was trying to get that. I wanted to try to get that look anyway, but I didn't even bother because when I was working on my character Severa in this style, I was paying more attention to the coloring style of the skin. And, of course, I didn't really get that close to what sukimi style is like. But there's always next time, right? Hmm. Anyway, so... I just kinda... lost... lost my topic, I guess. I ran, I ran out of topic. Um, cat is being a brat again, as always, trying to get my attention and distract me when I'm working on things. And she wants into the trash that I have built, put together, whatever, because I was cleaning my desk. And she's being a little brat. So if you hear bag rattling, that's me trying to hold bag away from her. So I don't have to dispose of it. And even if I tried to do that, I'm sure she'd try to get it into it anyway. Because cat. Anyway, there are always, of course, things that I have problems with in my illustrations. And one of said things is that I just feel like the colors weren't quite right in the skin. And the eyes were off. As well as... The background, like I just didn't really want to spend that much time on a background, so I left it just being simple, streaky texture. Which was kind of a cool effect, but I probably should have tried to put more color into it so it wouldn't be so bland looking. Well, things to uh, keep in mind for the future. Maybe I can start feeding her treats or something to keep her from pestering me so much. The cat, that is. She just, um, managed to get her away from me because I filled the food bowl. She always acts like she's starving, but she's not because I always pretty much have food available, so she's just wanting to be a spoiled little brat and tries to get food that I have, and uh, just pesters me to... Anyway, I'm tired. I wanted to po post this, by the way, several days ago, but because of my trying to, again, to establish a schedule, I decided that it would be best to just wait until the day to do that. Let's hope I can actually get this all processed and into my channel by the end of the day. Because right now it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon. I've been up since noon, actually. I meant to get up sooner, but I didn't. I don't know if the alarms. My my phone's alarm system seemed to be very strange earlier, and it didn't really go off, like, all the all the alarms I set, because I had to set, like, 16 of them. Not all of them went off, and I know I turned off a couple of them, but the rest of them were on. 
But the other ones I was waiting for never happened, so I overslept by a couple of hours, I think. Regardless. Another thing, though, is that once I finally do get to the long shirt slash dress thing that Severa, my character, is wearing, I kind of ignored Sami Sakimi-chan style entirely and just did it how I normally do it. But I tried to stay in the realm, I guess, of how the skin is shaded. I'm trying. I'm sleepy. Ooh, slight headache. Just a little bit of a, of a poke of pain in the back of my head. Anyway, so I actually posted this on Patreon yesterday. This illustration of Severa, I posted it on Patreon as a kind of sneak peek thing, and it is a it is the lowest tier of rewards, just seeing sneak peeks of what I'm working on. So if anyone is interested in supporting me monetarily via Patreon, the link to my profile should be in the description below. And just a little thing in advance, if you do decide to support me that way, then thank you very much. I definitely appreciate it very much. I just Recently, I've been stressing out even harder than usual, and it's not fun at all. So, having more people on Patreon would definitely help me with that a little bit, because the majority of my stress is wanting to be able to support myself doing this, but right now, it doesn't seem very possible. Because, yeah, there are some people who want to commission me, but one of peop said people doesn't seem quite that thrilled to do so just yet, and I haven't really been working on the latest of Ginger's commission because I've been wanting to get other stuff done. Oh, cat whacked me in the face with their tail and my eye freaked out. That was weird. Anyway, and even if I did continue to do commissions for Ginger for a very long time, she wouldn't be able to support me on her budget at the moment either, so it's very scary. Right now, I'm I'm living with my mom, so I don't really have to worry about it, but it's just, I'm scared that if I don't just kind of hit some kind of lucky level, I guess, then I'm not going to be able to make this my career, and this is pretty much all I can do. I'm not really good at anything else. I can, I can write, so I guess I could be an editor of sorts, but I think I'd much rather do this. I also like to be a writer, but I've not written anything of substance in seemingly a long, long time, so I doubt that'd be a thing. And I'm just not a social person, so trying to do a normal job, like working at a restaurant or something, would just overwhelm me, especially since I have a hard time hearing people, so especially in crowded restaurants, so I feel like if I tried to take orders and things, I would be very bad at my job. When I was younger, I just kind of thought that everything would fall into place, but obviously I knew deep down that it wouldn't be that easy. I'd have to actually work at it. And that's not... I don't mind working at it, because I like doing this. I just... I fear that maybe... I won't make it. I have animals to take care of. So. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day. 
Uh, sorry if this was a bit of a downer. I'm just over stressing, overthinking too much. Thanks. Bye.